going to read our My Big World with Clifford all about bubbles. So here we go. So it says My Big World with Clifford. Okay. And there's this cute little puppy and he's popping the bubbles. And that's exactly what my puppy likes to do too. And if you have a puppy at home, maybe you could give them some exercise by blowing some bubbles outside though, right? Okay. So it says pop goes the bubble. Okay. Do you like to pop bubbles? I know you all do because that song I was playing is a song that we would play at school and we would all get to run around and pop the bubbles. It's so much fun. So it says use your finger to pretend to pop each bubble on the page. So pop, pop, pop. The big ones are the most fun, right? <laughs> all right, here we go kiddos. I'm going to open this on up and if you have yours, open yours up too. Okay. And here we go. Wow, look at all these bubbles. Okay, so it says bubble science. Number one, bubbles float up, up, up. Pop goes the bubble. And there's the little boy and he's gonna use his finger to pop the bubble. Okay, now we're gonna go for number two. Go to number two. Bubbles can stick together. Pop goes the bubble. Look at that, all those bubbles are stuck together. Wow, it makes one big bubble the more that stick together. Okay, hmm. So number three, wow, look at that one. Do you see some colors in there? I do, it kind of looks like a rainbow. Some green, orange, yellow, purple, maybe even a little bit of pink. Number three says bubbles have colors. Pop goes the bubble. All right, number four, okay. Bubbles can stretch. Pop goes the bubble. Wow, that's a really long bubble. Over here, boys and girls, it says Clifford's big word. So you're gonna learn a new word today. It says burst. What is another word for pop? You can also say burst. What makes a bubble burst? Hmm. In school, when we would sing our song, we just used our fingers. You can poke it with your finger. And that's what is showing right here. You can blow too much air. Have you ever gone outside and went to blow the bubble and the wind whoosh, came through and popped the bubble before it could even form? And then you have to get more. You have to dip your wand back into the bubble solution. That happens to me sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's windy at my house and you know, the bubbles pop. Or if we get super excited and we go to blow it whoosh, and we blow too hard, the bubble will pop. Okay, but that's okay. You just get more solution. And it says, what else would make a bubble burst? Hmm, well, what about our pets, okay? Maybe you have a dog or even a cat that likes to go after the bubbles and chase them and they pop them, right? Sometimes whatever the bubble lands on will pop the bubble, like grass or maybe a stick. Sometimes, because I live in the woods, the bubbles will soar through the air and they'll just keep on going until they run into a tree. And sometimes the tree pops the bubble. All right, so I am gonna go on to the back to the activity. You are going to need a blue, green, and purple crayon for the activity on the back, okay? Like I said, if you don't have this paper, that's okay. You can still get these crayons and get a plain sheet of paper that you can draw some circles on to do the activity with us, okay? So we're just gonna flip our paper around and here we go. All right, so I'm going to choose blue and the first thing that we're going to do is write our name, okay? We have this big space up here to write our name. So you write your name, I'm going to write my name. And I'm Mrs. Musser. Okay, so it says think big. Draw 10 bubbles. Use crayons to trace 10 bubbles. Count them. Okay, so these bubbles are lightly colored in just a real little bit. So I have my blue crayon already. 
And I am going to take a look at all of my bubbles and I'm going to use my blue crayon to trace the blue bubbles, okay? I see one right here in the middle, okay? And I'm going to trace it. And tracing means I'm taking my crayon and trying my best to stay on those dotted lines. There. Okay, and I'm gonna look carefully to see if I find, can find another blue one. I think this little one down here is blue. Okay, so I'm gonna take my time and trace around my bubble. Okay, remember, if you don't have this paper, that's okay. Just draw some two blue circles for me, okay? All right, now I'm gonna switch because I don't see any more blue. I'm gonna switch to purple, okay? And we're gonna draw some purple bubbles. This one's purple. Okay, and this little one's purple. All right, so if you're drawing them, you will want to draw four purple bubbles and two blue bubbles. That is what we have traced so far. My light switch is going to make this one difficult here. There we go. All right. I don't see any more purple, so I'm going to switch to my green. Okay, green. And here's a green one. Now these are a little bit in between blue and green, at least to me, the light's not that great in here. Um, so I'm gonna use my green. This one's a little bit of a lighter green, okay? But these still look green to me. So I'm gonna trace these two. Okay, so if you're drawing your bubbles, you need to draw four green circles or bubbles. Okay. All right, boys and girls, it's time to count all of our bubbles. Let's see what, what we have. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bubbles. So, boys and girls, if you're feeling up to it, let's see if we can write the number 10. The number 10 is a number one with a zero right next to it, all right? So I'm gonna actually draw it right inside this last big bubble here. If you don't have this paper, just draw it anywhere on your paper, that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna make a number one. Number one is a straight line down, okay? So I'm gonna start at the top and make a straight line down, okay? Now, the zero that goes next to the number 10 kind of looks like a bubble. We want it to be a bit more of an oval rather than a circle though, okay? So I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. And I'm gonna go down like an egg, okay? See how that's a little bit of a different shape from our circles? Okay, so a one and a zero next to each other like that with a number one coming first, that is the number 10. All right, we counted 10 bubbles and traced them. Okay, and we practiced the color green, the color purple, and the color blue. All right, boys and girls, that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, have your parents ask us, and um, the Pop the Bubble song is going to be on our playlist. Okay, so just make sure, if you can't find it, ask a parent for help. And uh, it's a little bit chilly out today, but maybe you could uh, put on a thick sweatshirt or a heavy coat and go out and pop some bubbles in the yard today. Okay. All right, boys and girls, I'll talk to you later. Bye.